All right, so I'll make this as quick and painless as possible. So I'm going to show you how to set up a Windows Mail app with your HostGator account. It's very simple, but uh, you have you simply have to follow the directions to a T, and that's where a lot of people go wrong. And I've seen a lot of tutorials where <laughs> what they tell you is wrong. So I had, this compelled me to make this tutorial. So we go to email accounts, okay? So I'm assuming that you've already made your email, okay? So you go to email type in whatever you want here. Hi, hello, your name, at your domain name.com. Put in your password and click create account. Okay, once we're down here, we want to go to this section right here where it says set up a mail client. So we click on that. And right here we have a bunch of different scripts. Okay, so we have, you know, Mac mail and we have Windows Live and Outlook. Well, what if you don't have Outlook? And Windows Live has been replaced by the Mail app, so I'd rather use that. So what do I do? We go right here to Secure SSL Settings, and we just follow the instructions. We just input this information in. Okay, so go to your Mail app. Go to Settings. Manage Accounts. Then we want to add an account. Now, the first mistake is... Uh, other account, pop, IMAP. No, we're creating this sort of account. We don't already have one that we want to add on to this one. So you go to advanced setup. Then you go to internet email, pop or IMAP. Okay, email address. Email address is the email for your website. So in, for me, it's hello at create a website wp.com. Now the username. The username, like the examples here, wrong. It's not just whatever you want it to be. Okay, username, put this in. This is your username. It specifically tells you what to put in. If you put in anything else, it won't work. So put in paste. Okay. Now for your password. Again, you cannot put in whatever you want. Your password should be use the email accounts password. Okay, I can do that. account name, we'll call it website email, send messages using this name, sure, David, incoming email server, okay, incoming email server, highlights, copy, paste, there we go, choose account type, pop or IMAP, up to you. You can, on your own time, you can research which one you would prefer, which one's better for your situation. Pop basically downloads the emails. IMAP allows you to sync multiple devices. Um, I usually go with IMAP. Okay, outgoing server. Boom, right here, outgoing server. Highlight, right click, copy, and then paste. We've everything checked. I don't know why people would ever tell you to uncheck this, you want your email, your incoming and your outgoing email to be secure. You want it to be encrypted, so leave it. Click and sign, sign in. And you should get to this, all done. Your account was successfully set up and then you should automatically sync your email. So uh, we can go back to here and go to compose and type in the email we just used. Okay. Hello. Hi. Click send. Go back to our email client, our mail client. Click sync. And there we go. It's working. So then we can reply to the email. And that is it. And that's all you do to set up uh, mail with the win on Windows 10 with your HostGator account. Not very complicated. Just follow the instructions. All right. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.